Hello Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I'm checking into your love life Aquarius. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. What I'm seeing here is I'm seeing a, a masculine energy who, you know, honestly they keep replaying the day they walked away. They keep replaying the day, the moment that they chose to walk away from you. And it's, it's, I feel like it's making them feel sick. This person could be having some kind of health issue as well. Um, their muscles feel like strained. They could have like a lot of aches and pains going on right now. Um, this person may not be drinking a lot of water. They may not be eating really well. Okay, I feel like they're so burdened and they're kind of on shutdown mode. All they can think about is the day they walked away from you, collective. Everything that led up to that, the things that they said, how they ghosted you, how they walked away. Um, they're looking back on that day. Yeah, and I feel like that was the day that they lost you. Okay, that was the day that they lost you. See, you were giving this person probably the best love they're ever going to have in their life. You were extending that cup, okay? You were being honest and real with them. You really just wanted to love this person, you know, and they ghosted you for it. They're thinking back on the moment they lost you. feel like that's all they think about all day it's it's distracting to this person they may even have a, a day where they have to leave work okay um because they just can't it's hard for them to be out here lifing when all they think about is that one moment from their past okay with you yep they're in a lot of regret they're in a lot of regret. I feel like this person could have judged you for materialistic reasons. They didn't think you had enough money. So they decided to go where they thought the grass was going to be greener. Okay? They went in a different direction. And they, they just kind of, they took off on you. I feel like it was going really well. You gave this person the best love they're ever going to find. And all of a sudden, poof, they were gone. This person is regretting that, okay? And I feel like maybe now um, you're much more abundant with this Ace of Pentacles here. You're more abundant maybe than you were before, but still, even if you aren't, they should have never misjudged you. They should have never um, passed judgment on you for whatever you didn't have at the time. Like you didn't have a fancy enough job. You didn't have fancy enough clothes. You weren't fancy enough or um, you didn't make a, a, enough money, they thought, okay? Maybe you were um, just trying, working really hard to um, better your situation or maybe you were trying to create a um, some kind of creative project here that they didn't believe in. They thought it wasn't enough. Nothing, like you weren't enough. So they took off in a different direction, and now this person, all they want to do is get back together with you, okay? With the four of wands, that's them wanting to reunite. This is them in a whole lot of regret, a lot of remorse, okay? Wanting this new beginning with you, a second chance. But even they realize that they've come in way too slow. This person, it took them way too long to come back around now. It could have taken this person four or five years to come back around. I feel like they are they are alone. Um, they feel alone to me anyway in this Hermit energy and this Eight of Cups energy. Whoever they chose over you, I feel like they, um, they walked away from already. Yeah, they're stuck. Now they're seeing you as the one with the most abundance or they're seeing you from a whole new perspective they're remembering the love that you gave them how you treated them how you made them feel okay because it's taken this person too long to come in and because they treated you like nothing they don't know how to approach you now after all of this time yeah they're gonna have to pull off some kind of magic act 
um, they'd be willing to do just about anything to get you back. And this is what I'm talking about. See, before they saw you as nothing. Okay, you were putting in effort into something here, working really hard, but not able to reap any rewards. Okay, you were planting seeds back then that were going to end up growing into a full on lush garden. This is what you have now. Almost 10 pentacles, and that's the most you can have in the deck. You've got nine pentacles here just for you. You've gone through a major transformation. They didn't, they thought you were nothing before, but now you're the empress in the minor arcana. This person is realizing, man, what they've lost. They lost a, it was almost as if you're, I feel like this was a test for your person, okay? Because this is how you were when they met you, okay? You were, working your fingers to the bone, but maybe you didn't have a lot of money. You didn't wear those fancy clothes. You were very humble, down to earth, you know? Um, I, I feel like you, you may be like a t-shirt and jeans kind of person. You know what I'm saying? And they, they went after something that was much flashier than you. Okay? Well, they didn't see that underneath this peasant dress, that's what they would call it, was a peasant dress. Underneath that, and what they didn't see in your basket, was in the future, you were going to flip on this person. You were going to flip into someone who is very successful, has a lot of money, a growing garden, okay? Um, they didn't see it. I feel like maybe at the time, all you had to offer them, really, was that cup of love. What was in that cup was magical, okay? That love was really the most valuable thing for you and in this person's life at the time. They just didn't see it. You were like the hidden gem. You were the hidden gem. You were the diamond in the rough, okay? And now you're polished, and you're on a glow up. You're sparkling out here. Okay? And this person is like, they can't help but notice this. They can't, they, there's no way they, can, they can't notice how badly they screwed up. So now they're seeing you from a whole new perspective, but they're seeing how they misjudged you. They're seeing themselves from a new perspective too. They're seeing how much they manipulated you. They're seeing how they took advantage of you. They're seeing how they misjudged you. They're seeing how they were wrong about you, and they're seeing you as that hidden gem, that diamond, okay? They had no idea. So your, um, like your abilities and everything, um, all of that, I feel, was hidden from this person. Your destiny and, um, and your potential and what everything that you were capable of, it was hidden from this person because God wanted to know what they were going to do with that cup. God wanted to know if they were going to value the love that you had to give them. Not everything else. Everything else is just material stuff. But what's in that cup came from your heart. Were they going to be good to your heart? Were they going to value that love? And they didn't. They walked away from it. This person is real. And every day, every day, this person gets up in the morning and they start thinking about the moment they left you behind. Every day, this is on their conscience collective. You, you may think this person doesn't think about you, you know, because they haven't told you. They ghosted you. They walked away. They never came back. They never did the right thing. Okay, you may think they don't think about you, but this person thinks about you 24-7 because their conscience won't leave them alone because they know they misjudged you. And they're learning a big lesson here. Don't judge anyone because you don't, you don't know their story. You don't know their backstory. You don't know the things that they've had to go through. You don't know what they're capable of. Okay? 
don't play games with people. Yeah, you ended up being a star. You could have some kind of public platform now. You could be a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher, empath, healer, astrologer, tarot card reader. You could, um, you're definitely, I feel, on the, on the internet doing something. This could have been, this could have been that a creative project that this person thought was crazy. That they thought was rinky dink, right? Ah, uh, collective. Y you know, here's the thing. When uh, when I met my person and got with my person, I was um, just starting a tarot business, okay? Or I was just getting into tarot, and I wanted to give people readings, and I was like doing these shows and stuff um, in town. It started off slow, right? You had to plant those seeds, right? This person. I feel like there were a few people who thought I was crazy. They thought it wouldn't it wouldn't um, measure up to anything. Like they thought that I wouldn't be able to accomplish anything. Okay, and then I started my YouTube channel, and Spirit led me to do all of this. See, when you're divinely led, ain't nothing can stop you, and and people will start thinking. They'll start looking at what you're doing, like it because it, it's different. It's unique, it's rare, and, and people will call it crazy. But man, when you succeed, when you succeed at it, they see you from a whole new perspective then, don't they? And that's what happened to you. I feel like they thought something that you were doing was nutty, was crazy. They could have thought the spiritual messages you were getting was um, unbelievable or crazy. They could have called you crazy. They could have, they totally misjudged you. You ended up becoming a big success with whatever this is. All your hard work has paid off. This, I, I feel like um, you're making this person eat their words. You're teaching them a lesson. Don't judge anybody because you don't, you really don't know what people are capable of. Okay? Don't judge anybody. You know, and they, they can't live with their conscience. They keep, um, they, they regret the day they ever walked away from you, collective. They do. You know, because this was a materialistic person. This was someone selfish, only out for them. Only wanted, um, they, they chose love partners depending on how much they could give to this person. Very selfish, very materialistic energy. Okay? But they passed up love. That cup had real value. You're a high-value individual because of the love you gave them. Because of what you were capable of. You know? So now this person's kicking themselves. They want to come back to you because you've got the greenest grass. Look at all your grass. Look at it all. Look at this garden, you know, but the way they left you behind and the fact that it's taken years for them to treat you the right way with some respect, an ounce of flipping respect and consideration, that's all. You took them that long to do this? They were only interested in themselves and they did try. They jumped from one person to the next, hopping around. Um, from one relationship to, to the next in search of someone with a garden just like yours and green grass just like yours. They could have shared this with you. They could have been in this situation next to you building this with you had they seen the value of your love. Love. But they didn't. You know, and they didn't consider your feelings when they left you behind either. I feel like this person just one day you didn't see them anymore. They were gone. Yes, yeah, selfish. Me, me, me kind of attitude. I want all this for me and screw you guys. That, they're flipping you off in this picture. That's what they're saying. It's all about me. Me, me, me. I want. I want more. 
I'm not going to share anything that I've got with anybody else either, but I, I feel like this person wanted people to give to them, but they're not going to give to anybody else. This was somebody very selfish. They're having to deal with all of this. They're looking at themselves. They are. Oh, they are. Hermit energy, five of cups, ten of wands. They know what they did. And they, here's the thing. You gave them your cup of love, and they stuck a sword in your back because of it. They gave you illusions. They gave you judgment. They gave you criticism. And then they gave you a broken heart. That's what this person gave you. Other than that, they weren't going to share. And now, you know what? Now they're all up in their feels. Now they have to like sit way over here and watch you from afar because they're, now they're too scared or maybe too intimidated or feeling like a big fool, right? And they don't know how to come back around. They don't know how to reach you now. And you're uh, like a level ahead of them. Yeah, they missed their opportunity. They missed out. Had only, had only they had found any value in that cup of love. That cup there, that was, that was the cup that's in your hand. And you know, the weird part is, is I'm also picking up on somebody who maybe said a prayer for someone like you. God, just send me somebody who's going to love me. Send me someone I can be abundant with. Send me someone who I can have a, a beautiful life with. And Spirit did. Spirit did. You just weren't in a fancy enough dress at the time. You didn't have a fancy enough job at the time. You weren't flashy enough. Spirit did send them this blessing. It was you. The diamond in the rough. The hidden gem. Spirit did send them an answer to their prayers. It was you. Had they seen the value in your couple love, they could be in wish fulfillment with you, in the Ten of Pentacles with you. They could. This person was all up in their ego, very selfish, only wanted somebody who had money and flashy things. Okay, and they, they missed out on their destiny. Yeah, they missed out on their destiny because they didn't think you were enough. And you were the answer to their prayers, and you were their destiny. And they turned you away. Now they want to come back in and apologize. I kind of get the sense that now you don't even need their apology. You're good all on your own. Yeah, they want to come in and apologize to an earth angel, but... They're nervous. They're intimidated by you. They feel very shaky. Um, like they don't know. How do you talk to an angel? How do you talk to an angel? How do you hold her close to where you are? See, because you're elevating. You're ascending to a whole new level. And this person is, they're, they're, they're here in this uh, Four of Pentacles energy. Uh, they're in this uh, Five of Cups, Four of Pentacles energy. So you're, you're surpassing them as far as um, energetically, abundance, success. You far surpa surpass this person. But they could have been growing right along with you had they respected and valued your love. Yeah, you're moving on. Look at it. You're being leveled up. Look at this. Yes. You're being leveled up. To, like, you're way ahead of this person. It's like you're way more advanced than them. Something like that. But spirit is showing them now. You were the real gem here. You were the hidden gem. Spirit is showing you off. So that this person, it's uh, undeniable. It's unmistakable who you are. The earth angel was the true hidden gem. And this, I feel, was a test for your person to see what exactly they were going to do with that cup of love, that holy grail. They could have had the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles with you. 
but they didn't think you were enough. So instead, Spirit's giving them the Three of Swords. This is how they made you feel. Instead of now, accept it, since this person didn't accept their prayer that they prayed for, okay? Honestly, the, you, you were the answer to their prayers. They didn't accept it, so they um, decided to forfeit their destiny, which is the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. They broke your heart. They walked away from you, ghosted you. Okay, they broke your heart. They gave you the Three of Swords. Now it's them that's in the Three of Swords, while Spirit shows them who you are and what you can do and what you're made of. And that's karma. That's justice. That's fair. Yep, that's fair. Now they're in this Four of Cups, missed out on an opportunity. Three of Swords energy. This person was selfish. And, you know, they're wishing for you. They are. But I, they're not. Here's the thing. You don't get. See, they want their ten cups. Right? They want their wish fulfillment. They want their destiny back with you. Okay? But they're only in nine cups here. They're not going to get it. Right? Without that one cup. Guess who's got that one cup? You. You do. That's the one that they didn't value. And that was the cup that would have brought them to wish fulfillment. And without your cup, all they have left is a wish, a broken heart, and a conscience that won't stop screaming at them for how they treated you. You got that right. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Libra, Virgo. This masculine, they could be a, a Virgo. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on Pisces, heavy Virgo energy. Maybe Taurus. They could be a Libra. Take it how it resonates, okay? All right, what else can you show me for my beautiful collective? Yeah, they're watching you. They're watching you, collective. They, this person, now they want to go the distance, see? now, And I feel like if you have a public platform, they're watching you work or watching you on a glow up, watching you become successful now. Now that you're successful in this uh, nine of pentacles, ten of cups, earth angel energy, they want to come flying in now. Yeah, because no one else is on a pedestal like you. No one else has uh, the greenest grass like you do. But they didn't respect you. They didn't see your value. They made fun of you, called you crazy. Yep, time's up on this person. Yep, you're releasing them, and you're open for new things. Just as they want to come back around very quickly, now they want to come back in and make, and make this right. They want you back. Okay? This could very well be a clout chaser, an opportunist. I just feel like they're in a lot of regret. They're learning a lesson. But still, you know, um, that this is fair. You're releasing this connection. You're starting new things. You're, um, you're meeting new people, getting blessings, being put on a pedestal here. And this is fair. Your, your life is being balanced out. And this person now that wants to come back around, all they can do is watch. As the best thing in their life is just disappearing. Okay, the one they thought was nothing, didn't have enough. Now you're all that this person wants and they're losing you. And that's fair. That's justice. That's justice. Anyway, collective, that's what I have for this reading. Um, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, you guys, and enter in to win one of these fabulous seven prizes that I've got. I'm going to show you that clip right now, okay? 
And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out. Okay, everyone, so um, these are all of the awesome prizes that I have for this thank you giveaway, okay? Um, we've got the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck, a really popular deck for the giveaways. You guys, it's fun. Um, and we've got the Lightseer's tarot deck. This, this is a very popular deck in, in tarot land out here on YouTube. Um, really great for intuitive readers as well. And we've got, of course, another chance to win the cat tarot. You guys, I include this in on pretty much all the re all of the um, giveaways. Okay, and then we've got um, we've got a singing bowl that's um, just like mine. I think it's a little bit smaller than mine, but it comes with its own little satin pillow and a wand. All right, we've got the singing bowl. We've got the um, pendulum set, which I think is really nice. Honestly, um, these are really nice pendulums, you guys. One is um, uh, quartz crystal. It's got a really nice weight to it, and it's pretty big for a pendulum. And this one is copper. And this one opens up. You can open it up. You can put little things in it, like maybe um, some... Um, holy water you could put little pictures in it maybe you could put um little crystal chips in it okay so this is a really awesome pendulum very it's weighted so nice and it comes with this um really cool like board okay like an answer board all right so we've got the pendulum set and then we've got this home cleansing set okay it's also called a smudge kit it comes with a feather uh, a sage stick, a chakra bracelet. Um, it comes with its own little wooden stand for this beautiful abalone shell. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Um, so that is the smudge kit or home cleansing kit, however you want to put it. All right. And as a bonus prize, you guys, and I had to, I couldn't pass this up. I just couldn't. It's way too cute and adorable. This is the bonus lucky elephant, okay? Um, it's hand carved out of amethyst and it, it needs a good home. So who wants the bonus lucky elephant? Please, please. Um, I, I hope he goes to a, a good home. Anyway, um, to enter to win any of this awesome, uh, any of these awesome items, all you have to do is like and subscribe to the channel and type in the name of the item that you want to win in the comment section below. That's all you got to do. And then we're, I'm going to announce the lucky winners on May 11th, you guys. Okay? <laughs>